welcome back to the garage. This is episode four of the coffee van restoration, the Peugeot J9. Um, we're getting on with it, we're getting stuck in. In today's episode, what have we got going on? Right, I'm gonna take the front bumper off. We've got those big beams that we've got to get off the back, the brackets. Um, that's gonna be a bit of fun and games. And we've got a load of repair work to do on the grill. The grill's a bit flimsy, got to do some welding, put some braces in there, paint it, flat it, um, get that sorted. And we've got the horrible, horrible job of doing the underseal. So we're going to clean down all underneath the van and all them little nooks and crannies and get that underseal. And we're going to use the shuts, blag it all on underneath. So that's today's video. Let's crack on. Well, there it is in all its glory. Still attached the bumper. Oh, God blimey. We've got to get these end caps off. I've squirted these with a bit of rust off just to um, free off them nuts on the back. They're a bit tight. There's three bolts holding these end caps on, one at the front and two at the side. So I'll just whiz them out with the uh, with the ratchet there. And once we've got some lube on them, they come off quite easy. So we get that little a little wiggle and it just pops off the side. That's been on there for a few years for sure. Just open the door up there and it should ease its way out. It goes into the little step on the side. <laughs> there it is. Same with the other side, we're going to whip that one off as well. And again, the bolts are nice and loose. Bit of lube on there. Nothing too scary so far. We'll keep looking at the, the van and seeing the work that's got to be carried out. Though. We've got that rusty bit behind the headlight there, which is a dent that's been um, sort of taken away and some filler put on there. The filler's then fell off and gone rusty. So we've got to do something with that. That's another job for the, uh, for the future. Keep finding these extra jobs. Oh, we can get the door open. Oh, there we go. And then we can slide that out, like I say, once we've got this last this last mounting bolt off. There we go, look. Here it comes. Slip that one out as well. I'm going to paint these bumpers. Flat them down, paint them. Um, the three are like snails. Yeah, your French is rubbish. <laughs> Sounding more like a German. Um, we we're going to uh, flat these bumpers, paint them a nice gloss black, I'm thinking. Solid behind all the trimmings and stuff. So far, so good. Let's just remove the last bit of this bumper. Two more brackets to go. <laughs> these are solid, though. Big, meaty metal bumpers. They are fantastic. And they're held on with eight big 17mm bolts that go through the front of the panel there. So let's whip these last four out. Like I was saying, behind there from the back, you can see these big 17 mil bolts going through. And it's pretty solid again. Look at that under there. It's lovely. A little bit of surface rust where the paint's flaking, but the actual, well, the main structure of the van is, is brilliant. It's really, really good. This one's a tight one though, look. Come on, here we go. Let's get there. That's coming away now. Get the spanner on the other side. And we'll, we'll whiz that one out. This is the last one, I believe, holding the bumper on, so hopefully it won't fall off and land on my head. Oh, no, there's one at the bottom. Got to get that one. And then the last one is this horrible one down here. Oh no, the whole bumper's, the whole bumper's coming away now. So it's all just hanging on this one bolt. If I just pop that in there, we'll leave that hanging for a minute. There it is. Beautiful. Straight, isn't it? She's straight. Time to get underneath. Gonna scrape off all the old paint that's there. Um, scrape it, wire wool it, wire brush it, um, treat it, and then underseal it. I've done this small section at the back here already, so let's crack on and get a bit further under. And you can see how flaky the paint is. It's. Uh, it's almost like there's no. There's no underseal on it from, from a, the factory and uh, the paint just flakes off. It gets mud and stuff on there and uh, 
it's not corroded through in a lot of places it's uh, it's just surface rust but we need to give it a good clean back in and get it off once again i'm bringing the old milwaukee uh, little handheld hoover this thing is just the business Flip it onto automatic got the, uh, the hose there and I can just go out underneath get off the loose stuff there this is such a dingy job being under here scraping with the wire wool all the flakes of rusty dust coming off if I can suck the majority of it up with the hoover it just saves it going in my face and breathing it in it's um it does make a massive difference when you're under there and you've got something to uh, to suck this dust up with because it's that horrible, rusty, stinking, horrible dust. It's disgusting. We'll take the wheel off and then we can get under that side as well. Give us a bit more room to get under there and scrape all the all the rust off. Look at them big suckers. Massive rear brake drums as well. It's looking nice under there though. Go get the dust sheets down because we're going to be spraying this Schultz and it's going to make a right mess. Get them sheets on, save the drive. What are the job today? We're going to do this under sealing underneath. We've scraped it all back, we've given it a good clean. I've got three different sorts. I've got the 3M Schultz, I've got some of this Gurkho Anti-Gravel Black, and um, I've got some of the Central Paint Home brand. So we're going to give these three a go, see how we get on. We've got the gun there as well. Bang, bang, shove that in the top. Hang on, this is messy, it's a messy job. I've got some sheets down, but I know it's gonna be going everywhere and I'm gonna be covered in it. But it's gotta go on, it's really good stuff and it's gonna protect the underside of the van because it's got nothing under there at all. It is just old flaky paint that was there which I've wire brushed off. So yeah, let's go for it. Let's get this underside covered. See how much we use. I'll give it a quick wafting off with the airline just to blow off any loose crap that's under there. Because no matter how many times you you go under there and you brush it with a brush or you hoover it with a hoover there's always a bit of dust and look at that look found a pocket there and the airline just seems to get in there and blow it out it, it is a cracking bit of kit i do love my airline let's get this paint in we pop the little cap off there and then there's a metal film as well that you've got to pop the gun through you just pop that in and give it a bash straight through the hole and you're uh, ready to go once you've just tightened it up. There it is. Connect the airline up. This is running at about 120 PSI. We're just going to blag it straight on. And you'll see the coverage look. It goes on really nice. You do get quite a bit of overspray though, so you've got to be careful what you're doing with it. The cans do seem to go quite a long way and we've got, you can see underneath all those different little sections that we've got to try and get in. But this is quite good, the end of it's quite nimble, you can turn it around and point it and get it into all the little nooks and crannies. I whiz through this, you can see all the sections and I'm just trying to get it in every single one. And you always know at the end of it, you're going to have missed a little bit somewhere, but I keep checking and going over it again. Well, that's that horrible, stinking job. I think I've got most of it done. It's just the worst job in the world. Blagging this under seal on. And you can see there, I've got most of the chassis now is covered. I've got a few bits and bobs where I've probably just missed or I've not I'll catch up with those you think you've done it all and then you always find another bit so many sections in there I think I've got it all um but we'll soon see once it's all dried off we'll have a we can just go over a few bits and pieces if we need to but yeah pleased with that that looks really nice and we're all pretty much you know watertight and secured under there so uh yeah it's good I mean the old girl she's not a bad boss it's it's even got a plastic fuel tank on it, which is a, a real bonus because you know what they're like for corroding the old metal tanks. But this is just that age where they started putting the tanks in plastic. Makes, makes life so much easier. Not getting all those little bits of corrosion and rust coming down the fuel lines and blocking the carburetor up. So, yeah. Oh, pleased with that. 
we can now move on. I've got to still do the bottom sections of the van with that Schultz as well. Um, we'll go around the front and we're going to do all of that as well, all, all the bottom of it, and then uh, we can give it a good painting. Right, let's move on to the grill. I've got the old Milwaukee polisher sander here with a nice uh, fibre head on it. And we can really get into these corners um, where I need to stiffen this up. It's a bit flexible at the minute and it needs some... Uh, it yeah, needs some work doing to it. Got to some little plates in there. We're going to get rid of these 50 layers of paint that are on here as well in places if we can. And then uh, try and yeah, get rid of some of these little dents. On this front grille, I need to put some supports in on the sides here because it's it's a bit loosey goosey. We've got too much flex in this in this grille at the end. It's not fitting quite right. So if I can if I can weld a couple of little braces in one either side, hopefully it will stiffen it up and really make it fit nice. So let's uh, yeah, see what we can do. I've got a little bit of plate there. Um, I can get the plate shaped somewhere close. Before we start, just bend that up a tad. Yeah, so I'll straighten up this edge to start with. Yeah, just try and cut a piece of the right length. Yeah, the tin snip should go through this nice and easy. What I'm gonna do is just get that shape there. Well go in and then I'll grind it back once it's all in situ. I just take a the old grinder there and just rough it up a little bit, just make sure there's no contaminants there. Clip that in place with the mole grips. And then we'll get the oxycetylene torch out. Mix the gas in. Yeah, it's not like that. And then we can get going on this on this little weld here. I'll tack it into place to start with, get some little tacks in there and then we can come back in again and, and back it up. There we go, you can see that just starting to, uh, to melt and weld in there now. Just keep putting a few tacks in, tacks at the sides, at the front, at the back. I can really go at this now and seam weld it all the way around which is really going to strengthen it up, fill in all them little gaps. Over time you, you could see that this had been sort of flapping backwards and forwards and had cracked the original grill. So this is going to stiffen it up so that when we do 
fill it and paint it, it's not going to crack and look, you know, messy. There we go, look beautiful. Okay. What should I do for that one? See there how much stronger that is now. It's got a really good, really good fixing on it. And grind that back, get it nice and clean. Just make sure it fits still. Well, yeah, we offer it up, cut the plate off, grind it down to shape, clamp it into place and uh, do the same thing again, tack it in and then weld it up. Grind it back, make it look nice, get it nice and level, clean up the end and give it one last try. It's not bad, is it? It is a flimsy thing though, but that's made it a lot stronger. And it fits now, so we can get that, well, primed, filled, filled primed. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I, I don't know how bad it is until I've got some paint on there just to see where the final little scratches and dents are. But we'll try and get that nice and smooth. While we're down here, we'll get this badge off the back. I use a little plastic scraper there just to get that off and then we can get some tar and glue remover and get rid of the, the sticky pads. Because we've got to paint this door so this all needs to come off. Hey. There it is. Now we get back to the grill. Now we're going to bang some primer on it. This is primer filler which is a 2k mix. I black this on and it gives a real good base to work to. Get a good thick coating on there and then we can see then it will show up any imperfections that need to be sorted. I'll try and turn it over without getting paint all over me and dropping it. Um, you can see how many layers of paint are on there, it's got quite a few. I flattened it off and so this will now show like I say the imperfections and uh, we'll flat it off again and then maybe another layer of primer and then some top coat on it. I'm not seeking perfection but we want it to be nice. We just get the heater on that and uh, let that go off for half an hour. We've managed to get quite a bit done. There's a lot of dingy jobs in there that needed sorting out. A lot of faffing about behind the scenes there that, that just, it's work that you do that takes a lot of time that you don't really see the benefits of from the outside. But we've got all that done, so I'm really, really pleased. Oh, another little job done. Let's move on to the next one. Stick with me on the videos. There'll be plenty more coming along uh, as we, as we convert and build the van if you enjoyed the video drop me a little thumbs up like subscribe thanks for watching